okay guys so back to the code so we have a relative layout in here we will first change our relative layout to a linear layout and we will set the orientation to vertical and we have a text view here with the hello world text we will provide an id to this guy so id id tv json item is the name we will also need one button so we can add one button here and we can do this via the code so wrap content wrap content and id btn hit and text hit so basically the point is when we will click on this button it will hit on the server and will give a response back so these two views are required and in the main activity let's remove all this code for now I can comment this one so that I can use it later and here what I will need I will need one button button find give id r dot id dot button hit and the second thing, thing I need here is the text view so tv data text view Find you by the r dot id dot tv json item is the name. So first let's let's hit on the server and get our data back, right? So what you need here is HTTP URL connection and a URL to hit. So you need a URL. URL equals to new URL. Our URL goes here. Okay. So you can face some problems with the URL, like the URL is not correct, so you have to surround it in a try catch block. So this is your URL. Now the connection should be HTTP URL connection and what you can do here is URL dot open connection. You can open the connection here. Again this thing can create an IU exception. So you have to add the catch clause in the same in the same try catch block or you can create a separate try catch block which which is not advised. This is the second thing, and now after that, you will write connection dot connect. So now, after this point of code, you will be connecting directly to the server. Now, what you will get back in the response will be will be an input stream. So you have to store the object, store the data into a input stream, and then you have to do the thing with it. So what you have to do here, you have to write input stream stream equals to connection dot get input stream so you have received the stream and you have stored it, that stream into a stream object the last thing that you will be needing is a buffer reader now this buffer reader will help you to read this thing so reader equals to new buffer reader new input stream reader and here you will pass the stream so this is our reader and through this reader we can actually read our data line by line in our stream or in our text format okay so what you have to do here you have to um, you have to use a while loop so creating a while loop here while 
Before that, we need one string line. Line equals to reader dot read line and while it is not null, we will keep reading and we will also need one more object here that is called a string buffer new string buffer and buffer dot append line we'll add one more thing here we will add one okay leave it so add just one here and the last thing that you will do here is close the connection when you are done so we will create a finally block here in the finally block we will we will close both of our connection and the reader both of these things need to be closed but this is this is one local object here so we cannot access it into the funnel block so I have to make it here and I will do the work here however I have initialized it here so finally I will close the connection disconnect and reader dot close closing the reader now there are two problems here the first one is it is not initialized so I have to initialize with null and uh, to close the reader you need a try catch block so surround it with a try catch block and the shortcut for doing this stuff very quickly is alt enter so when you put alt enter it will show you suggestions press enter afterwards and your reader is inside the try catch block now the, there is one more problem here, our connection is null, there is a possibility that we don't go or we don't open the connection or the buffer is, uh, the reader is not initialized, anything could happen. In that scenario, our connection or reader could be null. So you cannot disconnect or close something that is null, you will get a null, null pointer exception. So first you have to check if connection is not null, then you disconnect. And similarly, if reader is not null, then you close it. Well, you must be thinking, what if uh, the reader is null, and uh, then we don't close, then we don't close the connection? Well, if the reader is not uh, is null itself, uh, that means it's not initialized, right? So you don't have to close it. You don't have to release the resources or anything. So we are almost done here, except our URL is missing. So let's see what is our URL. So let me just open the Chrome here, and I have one URL, which we will hit, and there is a URL. So when we will hit this URL, we will get this JSON, a single object inside a JSON array. So let's copy this and paste in our project. There we go okay so now what we have to do we have to do all this stuff on a button click right so we have to set an set an on click listener on the button it can hit set on click listener new on click listener and all this stuff goes inside the button click the last thing is you will set the data when you are done here. So TV data dot set text and where we are actually holding the data, we are actually holding the data into this buffer. So this buffer can be converted to a string. And I will make our TV data final for now. So we are completely done here and that's it, right? So now let's run our project and see whether we are able to fetch the data or we will receive an error or exception. So let me just connect my device.
okay it is there so now let's run this application selecting my device here okay it is loading so it will take a little while installing the app and that's it so now what we have on the screen is we have a hit button and we have a hello world here the text that will be changed by our JSON but as soon as I click on this hit you will receive an exception so let me just click on this hit our application has crashed and let's go to the error here and see what is the error Oops. okay so the first error that we are getting here is the network on main thread exception now what is this network on main thread exception so now we have to go to our problem okay so here is the problem this is a problem Android does not allow you to make network calls on UI thread and it does not allow you to change anything on the UI if you are on a background thread and to ease things for you Android has an easy task now but what is this UI thread or a background thread 